Hello what's up everybody welcome back to another video from eTechWarrel. So in the previous video we just learned how we can sign in a user using Firebase authentication and in this video we are going to learn how we can sign up the user in our Flutter application using Firebase authentication. So let's take a look on the UI. We have this UI of login page from here user can sign in to the application when the user enter his email and password and press this login button so the user will be navigated to the home page and from there he can log out also below this login button we will create some text and ask to the user if the user is new to the application or not if new so we will create a button here to tag the user to the sign up page so their user will sign up and then his account will be created in the firebase authentication so after that he will not create his email and password just directly from here so that's what we are going to do so let's go to the login page and right after this container we will put some size box here vertically and there will be a row children main axis alignment will be center and there will be some text new to the application we are asking to the user if the user is new or not if the user has account already created so he will just sign in and if not so he will press the button to go to the sign up page from there the user will sign up that's it and let's put some horizontal space with size box width and there will be again some text it will be sign up and we are going to style it a bit style text style color will be green and font weight will be bold and there will be some decoration text decoration dot underline just to underline this sign up text let's control s and check how it looks like we got the message new to the application and the sign up so now when the user press this sign up so it will navigate user to the sign up page so that's it let's create the sign up page now in the pages simply create a dart file we will name it to sign up page and we will copy this login page from here and paste it right here and also let's correct the spelling of the sign up page that's it and now we will change the name of this login page to sign up page because these two pages are similar instead of login we will say sign up in the app bar we also need these things to sign up a user with email and password and also this boolean variable to show some indicator if the user was signing up so we will display some indicator just like this and instead of this sign in user we will do sign up user and this login will be no more login but sign up just like this and here we will say already have an account so if the user already has an account so we will send user to the sign in page or login page and let's close this method just like this and comment it out because we are going to create the sign up user method just in a while and there is an error in the sign up page that is that sign up user if you are using android studio press alt enter to show this intelligence and simply select this create method press enter so this will directly create a method for you and later we will implement this method so now our sign up page is successfully created now let's go to the login page and here when we press this sign up so this will navigate us to the sign up page so here we will wrap this widget with the inkwell and on tap we will call on tap click listener just like this and let's create this on tap click listener here this will be final void callback a void callback function on tap click listener and also pass it in the constructor and make it required so there is still an error on tap so we will do widget dot on tab and this same process will be also in the case of sign up page so let's copy it instead copy and paste it here and also copy this constructor from here and paste it here just like this and now let's go to the 
sign in and again wrap this with inkwell and on tap will be widget dot on tap click listener and now on the main screen we will remove this login page from here and we will put the authentication screen here so why i did this let me show you why first let's create the authentication screen so we have created our authentication screen a stateful widget so from here we will decide where to navigate the user so to do that we will create a boolean variable is sign in equal to it will be by default true and let's remove this container from here here we will check the condition is sign in if the variable was true so we will simply display the login page otherwise we will display sign up page and that on tap click listener will be our switch page just like this and let's create this method here switch page this will simply set stat and will do is sign in will be equal to is sign in just like this so if this is sign in was true so this method will simply false this is sign in otherwise if it was false so it will simply make it true just like this so now move to the main screen and import this authentication page now press ctrl s and open the emulator and check if it is working or not so when i press the sign up page so this navigate us to the login page you can see the app bar is changed sign up and when i press this sign in so we are on login page just like this so now one remaining thing is just to move to the sign up page and here we will implement this sign up user method so we will make it future and will be async try catch e and we will print this error if there were some error and in the try block we will do await firebase auth dot instance dot create user with email and password and it is same like previous only the method is change we are creating user with email and password and this email will comes from email controller dot text and the password will be the same password controller dot text put comma here just to format it and now format press enter so this will format the code if you don't know how we can format this code in the android studio hold command alt shift and press simply l and run this so this will format all the code on that particular page and we will also do this stuff go to the login page and come a bit down and copy this sit state if this user was signing up so we will again show the circular progress indicator initially it will be true and in the then method we will make this false and this is already controlling here so that was it now hot restart the application to reset everything and open our emulator so go to the sign up page and also open the browser so when we sign up our user so so new user will be created in here so let's try it out we are on our sign up page and let's create a new user here the email will be user12 at gmail.com and the password will be from 1 to 6 sign up it's it is saying please wait so we have signed up our user and reload this page to see some results and a new user is created in here and now we are on our home page so that's how we can sign up a user and when i press this logout and now my user is logged out and again try to log in with that particular email and password on which we have just signed up a user that was user 12 gmail.com and the password was from 1 to 6 now login and we have login on that email and password on which we have signed up a user in a while so again let me show you one more thing go to the android studio and on the home page 
wrap this container with a column and some padding and the main axis alignment of the column will be in the center and there will be size box height 10 and some text here we can also get the email of current sign in user let me show you how email here we will do firebase auth dot instance dot current user dot email just like this put assertion operator here press ctrl s and check we got the email of the current user you can see we have just signed in our user using that email now log out and try to log in with the another email that was let's check the firebase authentication tab that was ak123 let's try it out ak123 gmail.com and the password was 126 login and now we are signed in on that particular email so that's how you can sign up a user using firebase authentication and that was it for the video so i hope if you like the video if so show some love in the comment section and also let me know if something is not clear to you and also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future updates and videos like this for now goodbye and i will see you in the next video